Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I love the spring and I absolutely adore magnolias. They are beautiful, beautiful flowers. They're so simple and so, well you know, they just speak volume. So I want to show you what I like to do with magnolias. Now unfortunately, it isn't spring on my side of the equator. In fact, it's autumn, but I've got a lovely array of beautiful artificial. So you could do this design either fresh or artificial. As I said, I'm going to be using the artificial. Now I want to put them into this basket because I sort of think at this time of the year, spring's sort of like it's new beginnings and I want to do something that's a little bit raw and organic and it's a lovely design to use when there's only a few blooms out. So I've got this lovely wicker basket and here I've got an ordinary old everyday plastic little floristry bowl and this is the big size. I think this is uh, number eight. I've got some green foam into here. Now I know that I've spoken about this before and that you use green is for fresh and the grey is for your artificial but what you will find now with the silk flowers is they have a plastic coating so you can put them into the wet and they won't disintegrate like they used to about 25 years ago. They will hold their shape and they just keep going on and on and on so it's fantastic. So on into here I've got half a block of foam. When you're using your foam, especially the green foam, just put it into the water clean water and just leave it until it sinks to the bottom and the bubbles stop rising to the surface and then you're ready to go. So don't push it down because when you do that you're just going to break up all those little fibres and it's not going to actually get right into the middle of your foam. So onto this you, I'm going to use this stuff here which is called Oasis Fix and it's a nice, see this here, it's great stuff, it's nearly finished but this will do me and it's self sticking so it's going to stick to the foam and then you can roll that around underneath your base and then up onto the top. <gasps> announcing we've got new scissors today. If you are new to floristry or flower arranging and you want a pair of scissors that will just go on and on and on, these are the best and you can sharpen them. And they're called pinking shears but I just caught these are just my everyday snips. Now when you get them out of first get them I just need you to know that they're extremely sharp so do be careful that you're not going to be cutting your fingers. Oh I love it when it's sharp like that. Right that I'm just going to push into there and the reason I put the tape on it is because I want the, the foam to stick and stay in that container and if you're doing any kind of work say you wanted to do this for a wedding and you're transporting them that tape just means that the foam is going to stay in the container it's not going to flip out and I've just pushed it down the so that it's really nice and firm. Right, with the magnolia it always has a leaf. I love how nature has been very clever and provided a really nice strong sturdy leaf. So these are the magnolia leaves that I'm going to use and I've already cut those on the slant and I'm just pretty much going to stick those even though a lot of the designers like their foam to come right to the top. I think that that's a big fat waste of money and it also makes your finished product too heavy. So taking it down into the base as I've done and then extending that leaf length up is going to give me more than enough room so that it's still going to be poking out the side. And as a general rule of thumb, depending on your size of your container, it's one and a half times the height or the width of the container. But for something like this, I just want it to be sort of like strong and thick and sturdy and, and as if naturally occurring. Right, I'm going to put that into the centre and then I'm going to bring the other one out over the other side. And every piece of, of foliage that I'm using is all about the same length, which is going to make it much easier for my designing. And I'm not going to have to, and cut everything before you start so that you don't have to be stopping and starting and stopping and starting and cutting. 
And I, the other thing to remember is, imagine that there's a, a central line that's running through there, and whatever you do on one side, just repeat it onto the other. So I've put a piece there, a piece there, put the bit in the middle, a piece over this side, and then a piece can go into here. Now, because I wanted something that's a little bit raw and organic, I'm not worrying about everything being nice and perfect, because nothing in nature is perfect, so why should we knock ourselves to pieces trying to achieve that? Another little bit can go into there. And what I also love is, look at the outside of the wicker basket and then the other underneath colouring of the leaves. It all sort of like matches and, and just all combines and mixes nicely together. I'll put another piece down into there and I think that that might just be enough. But look how lovely that looks just on its own with the colourway underneath, connecting through to the wicker basket and then you've got these beautiful shiny leaves on the outside. Oh, it's just a lovely picture of beautifulness. Right, the next thing I'm going to put into here are the magnolias. So I'm just going to push those down in amongst the leaves because that's how they look when they're growing. You know, you sit, they don't sit out because if they did that, then the wind would come along and would knock them all around. So we'll just keep those nice and low as if they were growing. And I think that if you just remember that, it's going to make whatever you do much easier. So I'll put another piece into there. Oh, look at this. Imagine if you... I'm just thinking about a wedding and how beautiful this would be on tables. And remember, if you're designing for a wedding, don't make your flowers too tall because it's very difficult having a conversation when you can't see the person on the other side. Now, I've got these lovely magnolias, which I'm just going to cut. And if you cut, as I said, cut everything to the same length before you start. Oh, I don't understand what they're thinking in China when they put such a big, thick, heavy wire in there because it's not necessary. Now I've decided that, and this is where I think it's so lovely designing with flowers, that I would like to elongate this. So I've, as I said, that middle line through there and, and like a mirror, what's happening on this side, make sure it happens on the other. So I'm just going to take that over there and because that's the same length, that can just go over there. And don't forget that because it came from China in a box, you can play God and be a little bit of mother nature and bend it and manipulate it to whichever way you want it to go. Right, I think I'm quite happy with that, but I would now like a little bit of colour in it and I absolutely love these little, oh, hold on a minute, I'm just being a bit rough, these lovely lilies. Now when you buy these lilies and they open up and they've got those little stamens in there, might I suggest that you take those out because they will drop and they will stain. And a little tip from me to you is, yes, it does stain your hands. Looks like you've got nicotine of the past all over your fingers. What I need, oh, I don't want that. What I need to, to share with you is that if you do get any of that pollen onto anything, baby wipes are the best way forward for getting rid of those. I don't know what's in them, but it does lift it. Okay, so slant cutting and removing all of that foliage there. And the reason we do that is that when you're putting the flowers in, you've already got quite a few components and material in here. By getting rid of those there, it just it's like a dart. It's going to fit into there much easier and you're not going to damage. These little leaves here are just gonna rot and just go like limp lettuce. So if you take those off before you get into it, it's gonna be much, much easier for you to insert those. And I need to cut those at the same length, removing those leaves. It's nice having a rubbish bin right beside me. Getting rid of those. And I, the other thing I need to share with you is that I know that in most places around the world, at the supermarket, they have flowers. And this is actually another one of those cheats designs that I do. Like I've got the fresh leaves in there, which will go on and on and on and on for weeks and weeks. I've got the artificial, which will last forever in a day. But if you were using fresh, as they die, you can just remove those and replace them with some living ones. 
or if you do it all in artificial and you do pick up, you can see uh, a flower that you like, a little bunch at the supermarket, you can just bring those home and then insert those into your design. So it's a design base that just continues to go on and on and on. I love that. And we're all busy people, so we don't want to be mucking around. See that there, as I said about that leaf? Look at that. See how it's all sort of like squidgy and it's starting to go all sort of like um, rotty? We don't want those in there because that will cause a little bit of bacteria and the bacteria is what kills the flowers. Because we don't, well we do like bacteria, but we don't like bacteria in our flowers. Okay, cutting those off. So they're all cut and ready to go. And it's now just a matter of, because you've got that nice little clean stem, just very carefully inserting those down in amongst your flowers that are already in here. And I've got, so I've got one there, I've got one there. I'll bring this one over to the back so that it's now going to be a two-sided design. Bringing that into the, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. And to be honest, I have got people coming for afternoon tea and I really do need some nice flowers. And there's nothing like flowers. And as I was told when I was doing my training, when there are no words, flowers will say it all. So there we have a very nice, easy to achieve design that is going to enhance any environment and it will just make, just make all your friends think that you've put a bit of effort into it and really there was no effort involved. Hope you enjoyed this. I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I'll see you all another day. Mm -hmm.